What is up guys, it is the Dragon Lord here, and welcome to a brand new solo series that I'm going to be starting. Um, I really love this game, a lot of people really love this game. Um, I kind of wanted to have a bit of a really long solo series, just so I kind of have something that's kind of mine, you know. So, let's start off and make a brand new character. I have played this a bunch before, um... But not a whole, whole lot. I only just recently got into the summer on one of my characters. So let's make a brand new one. Uh, hopefully the game audio isn't too loud. So we're going to go with male. Uh, obviously my favorite color is a cat. My favorite animal is a cat. Um, on my most recent character, I went with the Riverland Farm. But I'm not sure. Might go with the Standard Farm. I don't know, I might go with Wilderness. Or Hilltop. I don't like to do a lot of fishing, but I've noticed that mining is overly important. So I'm going to try Hilltop Farm. Let's see how that goes. Um, since I expect you guys to have already known what this game is about, and it's been all over the place, I think I'm just going to skip the intro for you guys. Just to shorten things up. So let's go with the name. Um, yeah, let's change the shirt and hair and stuff. Um, I'm going to have to move Bandicam real quick. There we go. Alright, I have Bandicam above Stardew Valley so I can see the timer. And how long I have. So let's see. Oh, oh, jeez. This is going to be a pain. Maybe. I'm really considering the afro. Oh, dear God, no. Hmm. It looks so ridiculous from the front. Alright, now we're getting into the more girly hairdos. Um, just because it looks so weird and ridiculous, why the heck not? Uh, kind of want to go with that shirt. I usually... I kind of li I like that shirt. I don't know why. I do. Or we could go a little weird and just go with that one. Ooh. I don't know what this one's all about, but... Hmm. Yes. There's so many weird things you can put on your character. The freak. Just, let's just go with this. Looks good enough. Uh, hair color, eye color. Let's just go with something weird for the eye color. Like pink. Let's go with pink. Very oddly pink eyes. Oh god, it's red. Yeah, there we go. Pink. So freaking weird. Does the hair color change the hair color from a beard as well? Okay, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna look like a very old man. Yeah. With pink eyes. What? This is an abomination already. I'm having way too much fun with this. I'm wasting like the first quarter of the episode doing this. Um, I think the pants can just be left there. Oh god, I still haven't made a name for everything. Um, let's just name them Pops. And the farm name. Oh god, this is a game I really can't take suit. Character creation, I have a hard time taking this stuff seriously. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh one sec. Favorite thing, let's just go with something random like hot dogs. Oh, wait. 
<clears throat> there goes my voice. Okay. I apologize for that. That was all over the place. I'm going to have to make a cut real quick here. Got to, got a couple of things I need to deal with. Um, The time in game shouldn't uh, keep going. The time shouldn't keep going. I'm just going to pause um, real quick. And I'll get right back to you guys. Oh, yeah. Time's still going. So I'm going to get right back to you guys. Well, it'll be instantaneously for you guys, but it might be a little bit for me. And I am back. That was a little while for me. So, I just randomly named the farm Daryl Farm for some stupid reason. Alright, let's grab these and give them some parsnips. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. Small crystal. Oh, but it's only furniture. Okay. Looks pretty nice. It's much different than, um... The... The, uh, the home that I was dealing with, the uh, Riverland, the Riverland farm. It's pretty cool because you get like a little map over here. Um, you get a nice carpet with a little helm on it. And the windows are circular. And the wall, I think the wall is just the same, but I like these uh, stone walls. Looks, this looks pretty nice. I like the different styles of farm. So I'm going to try to get a good view, a good idea of what this all looks like. I don't like it how there's just that, oh, there's just stairs going down over here, so I'm going to bring out my scythe. Whew. Jeez, um, my house must be way up in the air. It's a lot of stairs. Hilariously enough, even though this isn't a ri the Riverland farm, there's still a river going through it, which I find hilarious. Wow, I should have gone with this one in the first place. Right off the bat, there's a nice river. Wow, a really large, nice river going right through. So that there's two hilltops over there. Let me go check those out. So it's saying that there's one over this direction. At least on the map. Yeah, would you look at that? Oh, how much I'm going to want to clear out this whole thing. I'm probably going to leave the trees. Because they can give you sap and stuff. <clears throat> and I can cut down trees from the forest uh, elsewhere. But I'm guessing... Whoa! It's even got a nice fenced off area, but this is legit... Like, I don't, I don't even have to go to the mine. I just got geodes and copper right here. Whoa. This is awesome. That's so much copper, too. Copper can be a bit of a pain to find sometimes. Wow. I understand that there's the quest log, the getting started, and introductions. Introductions might take me a couple of episodes to do. Uh, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. That I'll be able to do pretty easily. I'm probably just going to do all 15. Jeez, so much copper ore on my first day. You have to wait a couple of days, like almost like a week or two in game before you can even go to the mine. Pfft, who needs the mine, right? Look at that, 15 copper ore on the first day. Jeez, that's pretty nice. I think I really like this farm. I think I'll stick with this. I might like this better than my, um, than the main account that I've been, um, on mostly. Oh. Oh, that's gonna, oh. See, I can't get rid of that with a normal axe. I have to get a copper axe for that. And I can't go up there. Oh, that is a huge pain. Oh, oh boy. I, I am really going to need to clear out a lot of this. I 
I'm just gonna leave it for right now. I know a lot of you OCD people out there are probably just like, please just clear it all right now, but there's a lot of other things I need to deal with. First things first is that they want us to start um, cultivating these parsnips. So let's find ourselves a good area. Um, I think down here, it's nice and open. Either that or down here. Because I will need to leave spot, uh, I, I will need to leave some places open for buildings. And I think right here will be alright for a couple of buildings. And, um, probably off to the side. You know what, no, dead center, right here, in this little area, is gonna be a small farm. I don't usually plant a whole slew of stuff, but... There has been times when I've planted a lot, so... Ah, <sighs> those large stumps are gonna be a bit of a problem. I'll just have to leave them for now, because I can't... I can't! I can't get rid of them. <laughs> Not until we get a copper pick... uh, copper axe. So, let's get started. Um... Just warning you guys, this game is very, very calm. It's very tame. Pretty much not anything too crazy going on, especially with um, me having this type of farm, because in the mine, that's where you'll uh, you can you'll actually end up getting a sword, and you'll fight slimes and all kinds of different stuff. I probably won't be going down there that often, strictly because I have a, my own personal mine in my own backyard, you know. Actually, let me double check. Yeah, there's another hilltop area over there. This farm is a lot bigger than I thought. Let me go check out that area. It's over here. By what it says. I have no idea on what part of the farm I'm on. That's one of the things I wish that they could... F oh, come on! <sighs> Giant boulder blocking my path. That stuff's going to aggravate me so much. Is that coal? No, oh, I can't pick it up. My inventory's full. Oh, I can't wait to get the bigger backpack. Is that the area, though? Literally, this whole episode is just exploring the farm, and I, I apologize. It's it's all so new to me. I've played this game a, a good, decent amount, but I haven't looked at all the different farms. Yeah, I think this is the... No? Hmm. It, I guess it might be? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, this would be it right here. Because this is going down. Okay, I didn't realize that this is going down and this is elevated already. So the little mine areas over here where the little rock stuff looking stuff is. So we've got a lot of stuff. I really want to try to go there. That's uh, I think that's the desert. I think that's what that is. Now I'm going to compare this to Harvest Moon because, well, honestly, a lot of people do that. But in, um, one of the Harvest Moons that I like to play a lot, uh, well, I don't have it anymore because my 3DS broke. But, um, I think it was a Tale of New Beginnings or something like that. It's for the 3DS. And, um, honestly, 3DS compared to the normal DS is just phenomenal. Oh, shoot. And it looked beautiful. Ah, oh, shoot, can't pick up the sap. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of the mixed seeds for now. Sap is pretty important. Um, can I cut down this tree? Or will I pass out? Real soon, I'm gonna- we're gonna have to do our standard mid video cut that we always have to do. A couple of times. Well, it looks like we got ourselves a decent area here. Actually, I might have to build a well on this, um, play in this one here. So let's go downwards like this. Oh, shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. 
going to go down about right there and make another line about right here. Hmm. Nah, I'd like to leave these two spaces open, so let's do it right here. Sorry about that. Accidentally ran out of time on my recording. So I. Oh, shoot! Ah. Okay, 16. Down to 14. Yee. Hmm. I really want to water all my plants today. I want to be able to water six more. So let's just water five. One, two, three, four, five. And it'll leave me with two energy. Oh, jeez. Well, unfortunately, I could not water all, yet. all of my plants. If I water one more, I will literally pass out. So let's just go inside. How much does it make to take my chest? 50 wood. I only need one more wood, so I'll do that tomorrow. Can we go to sleep? There we go. Alright. Let's get back to work. Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah. You're going to tell me about geodes and stuff. Finding ore and all that. This guy's the blacksmith. We're going to be heading to him a lot. Oh, and definitely. Oh. Oh, yeah. Forge. That's right. I need the forge to make copper bars. Thanks, buddy. I actually needed that. I'm gonna need to get coal. I think it takes like two coal and like five um, ore to uh, make a single copper bar. So we're gonna have some parsnips that are a little bit behind the others, but I think we'll be able to manage. No, not there. There. There we go. And we'll be able to make paths and such. And um, I'm going to make a uh, two-wide path going here. And then it'll cut off probably about right there. And then just be one wide going down this way. And then be two wide again. For only a little bit, probably just to like go back to one wide and going this way. Towards the little bridge right there. Just trying to plan some stuff. I like. I really want to make my farm look really nice. There's a lot of different customization I, stuff I can do with my farm. So let's just look for a single piece of wood. We got one right there. We're gonna make a chest. We're gonna make ourselves a chest now. Oh shoot! I got a new quest. Craft a furnace. All right. What's a tank to make one? Um. Oh jeez. Twenty copper for one. Twenty-five stone. We can do that. So there we go. There's our chest. And now, luckily, in the more newer version of Stardew Valley, you can change the color of your chest up here. So we're just going to make it some random blue. We're just going to shove a bunch of stuff in here. So we're just going to... I'm just going to do that right now. Hit OK. And head out. Looks like we still got some more mail. What does this say? Uh, fishing trip. Oh! I can go and get a fishing rod. Uh, I am not sure what I want to do right now. Before 5 p.m. Um. Guess we can head to the beach and get ourselves a fishing rod. Anything that I can get from over here? Nope. Okay. Another thing is that area that I was mentioned earlier uh, over here. To unlock that, I have to give like 60 artifacts to this guy. And um, one of the easier ways to get artifacts is when you're walking around town and stuff. And these little dirt-like areas, you might see little spots that have what looks like worms. And if you hit it with a uh, uh, the hoe, you'll um, you'll get an artifact or or coal or 
some ore, maybe some bait. Um, but he always gives you something. I'll take you. I'm gonna need you for later. They don't give you the daffodils. Don't give you energy or anything like that. But um, you need it for the spring forge bundle in the um, town hall. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from one thought on the salty seas. It was a big haul, so a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll... You'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yeah, on my river land farm, I bought a fiberglass rod, which allows me to put bait on it. Um, bait really didn't do much for me. I just, I just use it without the bait, and it's still just fine. <sighs> it's a little early. A little early in the morning. I'm going to have to move my mic up a little bit. Seems like... Some of the audio levels are a little all over the place. There's good water in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need some supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. <clears throat> the salt in the air. Just burns the nostrils. And the gusts of wind just shooting sand into your legs just hurts like crazy. Ah, uh, I can't stand the beach. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I kind of like the beach at times. It all depends. But when it comes to swimming, I do prefer a chlorine clean pool rather than the ocean. That's just me. But, um... I might cut this episode a little bit shorter. Who knows? Um... We're starting to run out of time. I'm not sure what that bus is going to be for later in the game. Not 100% sure. There's also a plaque on your farm that says something about, like, wait for me during year three or something, and he'll visit, and your grandfather will visit you again. From what I've heard, he comes back as a ghost, but that's just, I don't know. Actually, I just remembered I should leave that. Because when you build a silo, that's the kind of grass you need to cut, and then you'll get, um hay from it. Oh, jeez. Um, but early on, not a whole bunch to do, really. I think I might just go fishing my own farm and see what kind of fish I can catch. Hopefully level up my fishing a little bit. I'm hoping I don't shoot it over to the other side with... Okay, no, I won't. Yeah, okay. Um, I think we're going to catch maybe one or two fish, and then we're going to end it off. Oh, shoot. Ah, god damn it. I swear I'm not this bad at fishing. I, I swear. Like I said before, I'm usually on the Riverland farm, because I'm fishing at all times. It's gotten to the point where my fishing level is so good that I don't, I don't get normal fish anymore. I, and I can make like a thousand, almost, I've made 2,000 G in a single day before. Just from selling a bunch of fish, you know. I, I got really lucky in a mine, and I had forgot to sell stuff the day before. So I just sold it all in one day, and it was basically two days worth of pay put together, so. Oh. Um. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, that's probably going to be the thumbnail. Well. 
I'm in enough. I'm gonna end it off here, guys. So, uh, this is a solo series I'm gonna be starting. It's probably gonna be really long. It's just gonna be a nice, easy cruise. Um, in between recording sessions of Terranator, recording stuff. So, expect a bunch of videos today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.